Hello everyone, welcome to Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. So I'm continuing on today with what I started yesterday. I I, I started to, well, let's see, let me get around this way. I started to fill in these two raised beds here to make one and made it almost halfway and uh, it was dark almost. I also, uh, Rainier Ronmar and I had made like a, a canal here and so uh, we had we had dammed up all along on the right hand side there so that the water would uh, go down the canal rather than flooding this field. That was the last time we irrigated. And so I started taking out uh, the dam part of the little canal we made here and putting it in the centers and starting uh, the next rows. I took out that one and I took out this one and now I'm going to take out this one and set it over here. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just making large, wide uh, raised beds uh, using two of the raised beds to make one. I'm just filling in uh, the, the canal, the ditch portion of it. I'm just filling that in. And so that one and that one, all that will just become one raised bed. And I'm leaving the, the ditch right here. So, uh, of course, leave the ditch on, on the bank side of that one. And probably, because we're going to end up using almost all of, probably all of that soil, there will be an additional row on that side. But um, for now, we're, I'm going to leave that canal, uh, finish this one up. Uh, that's going to be the easiest one because I won't have to uh, move the soil anywhere other than just cleaning out that bank and, and shoveling it from one side of the the old dam right into there. Now this next one, it's going to, as each row goes over, it's going to be progressively harder. Uh, probably after this one, I'll get some boards and the wheelbarrow and start moving it over that way. But for right now, all I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up uh, making this so uh, so that the the canals that I'm not gonna fill, so the the ditches that are gonna remain ditches can drain out. And so I'm gonna continue all along here. Now I dug this out uh, to get an idea of where I was height wise. So this is as much as it will drain uh, before we get to the height of that field there. So uh, if anything, uh, everything in this, in this field needs to be raised up. So I may not only put soil in these, but a little bit higher and put soil in the ditches as well. So if this whole field uh, is an inch or two higher than what it is. And so that's going to take at least all that soil there and probably some soil all the way around the banks. Uh, but this, this field needs to be higher so that it will drain properly into that one. And, because, and I don't know yet if field two is going to be high enough to where it'll drain properly into this field because it's been raised up. Uh, I may just have to just have to progressively go back and make those two fields higher. But this one, I want to, I'm going to start with this one and make sure it's right. And I can judge the level that I need to go to after this one is done. All right. <clears throat> well, I've tuckered myself out. I... I'm going to take a little break. I don't know if I'm going to make it down here or back again today or not, but I'm, I'm definitely taking a break. What I'm going to do, if I stand up here, you guys will be able to see. Well, not really. 
So this all needs to be straightened out right about there. And I can do this right about there is the inlet for the next field. And that's about the edge of the next field, field two right there. So I need to come along and straighten this out. So yeah, it's going to be uh, probably more work than it's worth, but I'm going to take soil from here and put it over here and just lengthen out these raised beds all along and just straighten this line here because it just bugs me that it's all crooked and it's not even uh, for no other reason than that. Uh, what it'll amount to is probably an additional one raised bed if I straighten that all up there. Uh, the, this, these little portions of extra length here will probably amount to one raised bed out there. Now I'm not going to, I'm not going to continue on any further because this okra is still in production. I'm not going to I'm not going to mess with these anymore here. I'm not going to do anything to this side until uh, we pull this okra and uh, put plastic in. So tomorrow I'm going to get down here, straighten these furrows out, get them the way that I want them. I don't even know what today is. What is today? Tuesday? Wednesday? I don't know. But... I've got all of these here from digging out those ends and digging this down a little bit right here. I've got all these raised beds started the way that I want them. Pick up my water jug here and my hat. So these are going to go along. That's, that's what I want. So much wider, much wider raised beds and fewer it's going to work out to be fewer rows uh, but much wider ones probably overall more because some of these are would be like for onions they would be like triple wide so in the long run I get more utilization out of these fields out of this field than uh, the way we were doing it before so, oh, somebody's come down to check on me. What can you say, ma'am? Oh, and just dropped my hat down in the muddy water. Oh, that's wonderful. Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Uh, I was just going to stop for the day I'm tuckered out. What time is it? Three o'clock. Charlie's sick? Yeah. With Gina running around sick and Andre running around sick, I'm not surprised. Thirty-eight. What is that in Fahrenheit? I don't know. That's Celsius. I know that's Celsius. But it doesn't mean anything to me. I only know Fahrenheit. I don't know. I just want to convert, convert that power here. Yeah. I know. What's normal? Normal is thirty-six. Thirty-six. Okay. Marcel's got to get the dogs out of the. That squash is just starting to come up there. Don't step on that squash, love. It's just. Uh, well, it's only three o'clock. I was. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it was later. Ah. Uh, yeah. One piece of fried chicken? Do you think so, huh? <laughs> I guess it's going to have to be. All right, I'm done.
tomorrow's another day. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.